Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello. All right. So, you know that whole thing with the with the Walmart and all that, and the shooter and all that. Yeah, he's and you know Walmart. What Walmart went crazy and they pulled video game stuff, but yet they sell shotguns. Yeah. Well, now it, it didn't, here's the thing. Now we got movie companies like Bloomhouse, which pulling their one uh, movie. They're, they're, well, they, they're they jump to conclusions, and they, they're scared, and they decide, oh, this new movie that they were going to turn into a franchise called The Hunt. Yeah. We can't we can't have it out there because of all these shootings. It's about people being abducted by the rich, put in cages and dumped somewhere out of nowhere that they're far away from home, and they're being hunted like animals. And then they're trying to make it that the people that are rich, or they're trying to insinuate are Republican or Trump supporters, are killing these people. It was way too political, <clears throat> and it was way too much with guns. Then why didn't we pull the purge? But it's like, yeah, I know. And see that that's why it doesn't make any sense because the purge is new ones coming out. But let me finish. So so you're pulling this, so I mean you just lost you lost all that money. You made this movie, you spent millions of dollars, you lost the money now. What are you gonna do? Unless they're gonna do what they did with the interview, which was put it to one of the streaming services. It's gonna be directed direct to wherever. Yeah. Blue Ray. But this is this is the best. So you're pulling this movie. But you're putting all you're putting Sylvester Stallone in the purge, and you're still doing the purge. Yeah. So that's the same thing, right? Come on, folks. The rich and the purge. Like, first of all, how about stop it with the political shit for once, and just do a damn movie, right? Yeah. Doesn't there are rich people that are Democrats too? Like, you don't need to insinuate like they're Republicans. Don't be an effing moron. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be an effing moron. There are Democrats that are rich beyond belief, too. So don't try to make it like Republicans are evil. And don't – just do your damn horror movie and stop it. Yeah. Right? And then you got – I'm, I'm sorry. You got Sylvester Stallone may be in the purge. That's great. But are you going to delay Rambo? Probably not. Rambo's going to be having guns shooting around. Like, you're going to delay Rambo because Rambo has guns in it? No. You're not going to delay Rambo unless you're going to tell me he doesn't use guns. And he uses lassos and, and like hog ties people like a cowboy. Bow and arrows and, and no. bombs. No, just just stop. Like video games and movies do not make people do things. It's no, it, there, there's been there's this garbage. Like I said, the whole video game garbage would not come out if one of the people involved in one of these shootings was of the age that played video games. I'm gonna Think say I'm gonna say this. Every single I'm, time, every single time somebody who's of the age of playing a video game does something wrong. No, this was, whole ludicrous We know why this started. Garbage comes out. We know why it started. We did a cast on it. Yeah. Donald Trump said it's video games. And then everybody losing their shit and the president's wrong. No, it's he confirmed not. that it was video games. That's no, just he confirm. He, he said he on the bandwagon with everybody else. He says he thinks it's video games. No, it wasn't confirmed that it was video games. No, it wasn't. He said he thinks it's video games. Yeah. And then everybody lost their shit. Like, oh my god, let's pull video game ads. And let's pull. It's not video. He's wrong. The president can be wrong. He's not perfect. Not everybody's perfect, but like he's wrong. So now we have this thing where you not, great job. Now you're gonna put the economy in the toilet when it comes to video games and everything, which is a billions of dollar market. Uh, and it's not video games, and it's not the movies. It's people are, are freaking crazy. P yeah, and like I continuously said, you can sue the NRA and gun manufacturers till they're nothing more than myths and legends. You can pretty much write uh, new laws till old ones are nothing more than punctuation marks. But until you start holding those who actually wield the gun 100% accountable and stop trying to make excuses for it. Take the shotguns out of Walmart. Yeah. Instead of taking down a friggin' Resident Evil poster 
or whatever. Take the damn guns Cause, out. Because the guy came out even said, this was an experiment to show something, if I remember the thing right. The little Take the damn, stop selling guns in these places. Leave the video game posters. Are you kidding yeah. me right now? Like, is, is there a stupidity virus in this world? Yes, sadly. There, there sadly, there sadly, folks, sadly, Joe, the smarter these things get, the dumber we get. No, not me, but, like, people that don't know how to handle it. But the thing is, like, no. yeah. is these people that run these billion-dollar corporations that stupid that you don't know to take the guns out of your friggin' establishment? They're but, afraid. But, they're afraid to lose this from the NRA. They're so they afraid to lose this, the they rather NFL. settle to the common denominator of stupidity. So NBC, ABC, CBS don't want to have anything on video games. So now you just lost money for those, mm -hmm. and now they're going to put them on it. Oh, please, you know what? You're going to have to have a special section like uh, the uh, uh, like the pornos. That's so stupid. That's like, oh, you want this game? It's back there. Are you kidding? This is ridiculous. This I don't even know what I can, this is unrecognizable. This is so ridiculous. That like that didn't cause that. You could ban every video game there is, it's still mm -hmm. gonna happen. But they wanna that's just it. They wanna placate to those people who fear guns. Uh, so they're going to jump down. So they're going to jump to the conclusion that guns they sell guns. the clothes. So there's and and because look because uh, uh, look those comic remember comic books before the uh, the little oh, comics God. code thing. There was a guy that came out wanting to claim was trying to make the claim that comic books led to depravity. Oh, so that's what led to the whole uh, comics code. Uh, uh, marker. That, and that's why for the longest time. You couldn't have monsters uh, of any kind in there, too. Drug use. So. This is just craziness. Craziness. Uh, this is the new. This is just like when they brought about the Comics Code uh, thing several years ago. The um, Joker is aimed to make seventy-seven million. That's going to do well when it comes out. That's for sure. Um, Hobbs and Shaw. Let's look at the box Maybe. office for a second. We'll change. We're going to talk about different stuff. Um, all right. So number one movie, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. That is eight million seven hundred sixty thousand. Second movie is Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. That is. To 255. So that's doing better. Yeah. Much better. Much yeah, I'm better. still surprised. Lion, we said it was Lion King that came back and knocked it off its. Well, that was the other day. Now we're now, yeah, we're, the other now, day. We're, now we're doing Saturday. Saturday, Dora the Explorer is number three. Yeah, I figured uh, I figured Dora would be around Six two. Six million four. five, and the Lion King's fourth place. So things, see, see how quickly things change? It goes from number one to number four. One billion, 227 million. So. Not only is this drastic changes in the box office, but Spider-Man's almost out of the box office from from being number three or whatever. Um, uh, Toy Story is just almost out of the box office. Insane. So all these movies just got shifted. Aladdin's already out of the box office. I figured it would be. Yeah. So the, the, even Endgame's still making money, but the moment the moment you said that Lion King was hit number one, Four? I knew yeah. Aladdin was. Yeah, I know. Aladdin on by a thread. They, they made their billion though. They're out. Yeah, they, they made their billion. Come they, on. Go away. Story Story should remain. I hope it can make a billion, but I doubt it now. I mean, I think that you know that killed it. Even even in the weekend, it's not making the money, Scott. It's not making the little. I think movie. people were upset with the uh, how how it ended. Yeah, but it's still. So that's why, and yeah. that's why they've said we're going to come out with a number five. This is going to be a number five. Yeah, that's tough. So right. That way, you can be more leave on a jovial note. Yeah, this is going to be a number five. So we know there's going to be a number five. Um, what else? We have to talk about. 
so anyway, that, that I, I started watching The Boys up to episode five, excellent series so yep. far. I guess like I, got I said, three. it's real good. Yeah, it's real good. Check it out, Amazon Prime. Um, Carl Urban's in it. And, and as I was telling Joe before the cast, I was thinking that the one character in there was Chelsea Handler. It turned out to be somebody entirely different, just because the way she had her hair styled. Right. It made her look like somebody well, entirely different. I mean, different. that was Elizabeth Shue. She, she got older. I guess you know. I know, I know, but so, still, I, I can generally, and when I see Elizabeth Shue, I can generally tell who she is. Right. But that, this, with the way she had her hair styled alone, right, and the way they had her suited up, and all that. That's why I thought it was Chelsea Handler for a bit, for a while. Right. So the GI Joe spinoff, which I believe is Snake Eyes, right, yeah. um, is going to have uh, Chuckles. Is a character known for his undercover, undercover fil- infiltration who has not appeared in the previous G.I. Joe movies. I don't even know who he is. Chuckles? Me neither. He must be part of the IMD, uh, IMD, uh, the IDW no. crew. I don't know. I've never heard of him, but we'll see. Um, I honestly do something with G.I. Joe because right now it's, I mean, people are not going to remember what the hell's happening. Yeah. In that franchise, unless you reboot it or something, we'll put something out, but. You know, when was the last time G.I. Joe came out? It's been a long time now, right? Probably yeah. a long time. Early 2000s, I know that. So, then this is still connected to that. That's, you're going to remember that probably? I don't know. You know. Unless this is their attempt to, to reboot it. Yeah. Yeah, they take uh, somebody who they, everybody likes, which is Storm Shadow. And. I mean, didn't they have that in the beginning of the last movie with Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes? The whole beginning with Storm, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, I think. I'd have to go back and look. Yeah, with, the, uh, with the Alp, with the ice, the snow, they would, they would yeah. flip it around on the zip lines and everything. Remember that? Yeah. That was the whole beginning. I to remember it. Yeah. Yeah, that was all. So, you know. I don't and know. I, and I've got the original, Mar- I've got the first issue of the original uh, Marvel. Uh, line of it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And the big reveal between Storm Shadow and uh, Snake, uh, Snake Eyes. Yeah, let's see. So I guess more is coming out about this than the hunt. So does that mean, is it going to go right to Blu-ray or is it... That's what I'm wondering. I, maybe it's just delayed. Thing. It might be delayed for a while now. Because they don't want to lose, they don't want to lose money altogether. No, they'll probably wait till a year, end of the they'll month. A year? No, they'll no, no, a year. They, won't, they wouldn't. They wouldn't risk waiting a year for this. They'll wait uh, the at the end of this month, beginning or mid next month, and they'll release it on Blu-ray or one of the streaming services. Because they don't want. They already made it. They already put the money out, so they want to recoup it as quickly as possible. So it's going to be there. Okay, so the, the press is that they're going to release it in the movies. They're just not going to release it now. Okay. They're not going to wait, lose money and have it go right to Blu-ray. So they, it's going to come out, but not now. Like I said, six months, a year, like they'll get – look, they've delayed movies like Turtles and, and Transform. Like they've delayed things for six months or a year. Like they'll just delay it where – that's fun. Nothing's going, you know, maybe nothing will go on. Yeah, when everything, when all these shootings did, and the Walmart issue comes about, the, it has pretty much Died settled down. down to, oh, here we go. It's a, it's a Let's silent, pop this movie out. It's, it's a silent release. Catch it this week. It may not be in the cinemas uh, a, the week later. Well, no, they're going to they're gonna release it the way they're going to release it. It's just not going to be now, probably. Yeah. So. They don't want to lose money. That's that's the whole thing. It's like, um, so it's not gonna be limited. It's not gonna be any of that stuff. But, uh, oh no. What do you mean? Oh no, we got bad news. Oh, okay. They're coming out with a Baywatch. I thought they were reboot, re- rebooting Baywatch again. Uh, a documentary. Documentary film. Oh, okay. That's who cares. So, so is it all be, gonna be done in slow mo? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, break. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown is playing a, a Nola Holmes, her own Sherlock Holmes type of movie. 
because she's a woman and they're going to be yeah. one Sherlock Holmes type of the sister basically which I don't even know we had a sister unless they just had a sister for certain yeah. things I don't know it's probably an alternate universe oh it's all right ah busy Sally now huh people busy tonight what else do we have to talk to you about let's see Um, oh, James Gunn wants a Superman Brightburn and the boys crossover. You imagine? Oh, just, God. You imagine if they put all that together? Oh, God. That would be insane. I, I, it's like, shut up. Here's my money. Right. In five seconds. <laughs> five seconds. They would never do that, though. You would never have no, I, I know. Superman. Ever with that, you know. All right, we'll get out of here, guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye for now.